Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm so glad I'm finally bringing this to you. Uh, I've been blogging for exactly two years, so I thought what better way uh, to celebrate the milestone than to start up my own YouTube channel. I've loved YouTube for about six years now and there are some holy grail products that I've discovered. There are family vloggers that I've loved watching and I feel like I get to know and YouTube's always something that I really wanted to do um, but never really sort of just made that first move so I'm so glad to finally just sit in front of a camera and just talk but today I thought what better way to start my YouTube channel than do sort of a get to know me tag and um, I've got a few questions here um, so you can learn a bit more about me perhaps some things, discover some things that you might not have known about me uh, from my blog or from personally, if I know you personally and you're watching this, then you might not know some of these answers. So um, I've got in total 27 questions, so let's get right into it. So question number one is, what is your date of birth or age? I'm 25 and I was born on the 4th of January 1992. Question number two is, how tall are you? I am five foot five and a half, that half is very important. Question number three is where were you born? I was actually born in a place called Worksop in Nottinghamshire. Question number four, what is your favourite colour? If you've followed my blog, you'll know that I am not a um, colourful person, I suppose. I like black, whites, greys, neutral tones. That's my whole blog theme is pretty much just whites and blacks depending on the time of the year. Um, I love grey if that counts as a colour. If I had to go with a colour and not a shade, I'd probably say blue. Question number five is how many countries have you visited? I'm fairly well travelled, I'd say, although I've not actually sort of taken a gap year out and gone travelling or anything like that, I have visited a lot of countries. I lived in America for a while, I lived in France for a while, I, um, I visited various countries with my family all across Europe, and friends. Um, South Africa was one of my favourite holidays. I was much younger and I'd love to go back there again. But yeah, the list is endless, honestly. I'm very fortunate to have um, had the travelling experience that I have. And this year I've got two holidays booked, which I'm so looking forward to. The first one is in Ibiza and the second one is Barbados. So I can't wait to go um, away this summer. I've also been to Marrakesh this year. So yeah, a lot of countries. Question number six is what is your favourite drink? If you know me, I'm not a big alcoholic drinker. I will drink socially, um, but if ever myself and my boyfriend go out, we tend to just have a Diet Coke. Is that really boring? Or even water? Um, if I was gonna go for an alcoholic drink, I love really sharp um, like margaritas and lime flavours. I'm not one for fruity cocktails or anything like that. I also, I love a gin and tonic. Question number seven is, are you single or taken? I am taken, I am with my boyfriend and have been for a couple of years now. Question number eight is, what is your favorite animal? I absolutely love lions. Lions are my favorite animal, have always been. I love the Lion King. I even have my very own little Simba cuddly toy that I've had since I was a baby. Um, it's probably my favorite film as well, The Lion King. So um, yeah, I love lions. Question number nine, do you prefer tea or coffee? Coffee, I have a coffee every day, at least one, if not two. And um, I do drink green tea, but I don't drink English tea. Um, I'm not a fan and never have been. Question number 10, do you speak any other languages? Yes, I speak French. I studied French at university, so hence why I lived there for a while. Um, and I also learned a bit of Mandarin whilst I was at university can't remember any of it now but I did learn it. Question number 11 is have you got any siblings? Yes I have a younger brother who is almost six years younger than me. Question number 12 what are your favourite TV shows? Um, I love watching TV I'm not one for soaps or anything but I do really like watching reality TV like some Made in Chelsea, TOWIE, everything like that but I also really like um, uh, a few series on Netflix, the Netflix originals, uh, Stranger Things the AO, um, those sort of mysterious thriller type type series I really liked. I used to love The Vampire Diaries um, 
and True Blood, but not so much anymore. But yeah, I'm I'm I prote I tend to go for the Netflix originals at the minute whenever there's a new series out. I'm yet to watch Thirteen Reasons Why. I've heard some good things. I've heard mixed reviews. So let me know if you've seen that. I'd be interested to see if it's worth watching. Question number thirteen is: What piercings or tattoos do you have? I don't have any tattoos. I considered it for a while, but I never thought I would actually go through with it. It's the sort of thing that I think I would probably end up regretting in the future. Um, my tastes change all the time, so I would hate to get something permanent on my body that I then regret. Um, piercings, I have just the one earlobe um, single piercings on my ears. Again, I've considered more but I'm a bit squeamish. Question number 14 is, who are your favorite YouTubers? I have so many. As I said, I've been watching YouTube now for about six years and you feel like you get to know YouTubers even though you don't. It's a real personal, that's what I love about YouTube is the fact that reality TV, like Towie and Made in Chelsea and Kardashians, I can't help but think that they're staged in some way Whereas YouTube, although it's edited, it's a lot more raw and natural and it's people filming themselves. And I feel like it's more real than reality TV. Um, so yeah, I've been loving YouTube for so long now. I love vlogs. I love watching the Sukoni Jolies. Um, it's Judy Life. Um, I also love Samantha Maria. I love uh, Fleur, DeForce, um, who else? Shanexo, uh, quite a lot of beauty um, YouTubers and fashion YouTubers, essentially Carly Bible. Um, I like finding UK um, YouTubers more, like the likes of Imagination. I love her. She's created her channel fairly recently. Um, her and Holly Boone and Sarah Ashcroft, they're amazing. I think they're all gorgeous girls. Um, I'd love to be able to meet them one day and um, but yeah I, I've been watching YouTubers for a long long time especially the Sukoni Jolies I love them. Question number 15 is what was your favourite and least favourite school in sub school in subject? Subject in school. Um, I don't know I didn't love school I didn't hate school but I was never an A star academic student I loved the art side of school and I actually quite like maths which is weird. <laughs> um, French is one of the subjects that I sort of progressed in most hence why I did it at university uh, but again I chose it to do it at university just really because I was good at it and not because it's a passion of mine. I didn't have really strong favourite subjects in school neither did I, well actually I did hate history. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that was my least favourite. Question number 16 is, what is your favourite film? I briefly touched on it earlier. If we're going with Disney, it would be The Lion King. I love it. Um, I also really liked growing up watching Matilda. I pretty much know the script of that. And um, also Titanic. Titanic is a good favourite of mine. Question number 17 is, what phone do you have? I have the iPhone 7 Plus um, with this case, which I got from... I got from Etsy actually, it's got Freya on the back and it's like a black minimal marble look, which I love. Um, but yeah, the iPhone 7 Plus in black, matte black. Question number 18 is, what is your worst trait or bad habit? Um, probably the fact that I overthink things all the time. I'm a bit of a panicker, a bit of a worrier, I get anxious all the time and I just need to chill out and just realise that there are worse problems going on in the world than something that hasn't even happened yet. I'm a big worrier and that's probably my worst trait. Question number 19 is what size do you wear? Clothing wise I wear sort of an 8 to 10, 8 on the top, 10 on the bottom and as for size feet I am a size 6. Question number 20, what is your favourite show? I've already answered that I think. Okay, we'll skip that one. Question number 21 is what qualities do you look for in a partner? Honesty, trust, loyalty, um, ambition, someone who's really driven and, and isn't lazy. Number 22, the reason I started YouTube. As I said, I've been blogging now for two years. Uh, my blog, FreyaFarrington.com, has sort of grown over time to the point where I've, I've now been able to spend a lot more time on it. And I go to a lot of blogging events and people always... Um, say oh have you got a YouTube and, and although I really want to just say yes I've got one 
I um, I tend to be one of the only ones that doesn't have one. I think YouTube is definitely the way forward in terms of social media and digital marketing. I love watching YouTube, have done for so long, and most of the bloggers that I follow also have YouTube channels. So that is the main reason why I started. Question number 23 is what are you currently wearing? I'm actually wearing um, the Carly, a Carly Bible set from the Miss misguided collaboration it's like a two-piece set leggings you can't really see leggings and a crop top and then this just comfy top is from runway I'll leave all the links below to uh, where you can get them if they're still available uh, necklace is from Lynx London uh, my watch is Movado and that's it question number 24 do you play any any instruments I used to play the trumpet at school I know until I lost it um, I also played piano at school, I got to about grade, I did grade one and I was learning for grade two but I, I found it to be a bit of a chore at that age. Being a bit older now I kind of wish I had continued it or maybe started it older. It's definitely something I might consider picking up um, again in the future but um, yeah, I, not really <laughs> if I'm completely honest, no. Used to but I don't anymore. Question number 25 is when was the last time you kissed someone? Um, my boyfriend yesterday. Question number 26, what are you scared of? A lot of things. This sort of plays back to my um, panic state that I go into and I shouldn't get myself into it but I just tend to be um, worried about what's going to happen so I, I get scared of, I mean I'm scared of spiders but I wouldn't say it's a fear, I don't like them and I, I run away from them but I'm not scared of them, what I'm really, like a fear of mine is blood, I hate blood, I'm super squeamish, I didn't used to be, I used to love watching Casualty but I can't watch that anymore, It's I, I just have to watch through my fingers the whole time, there's no point or if needles and blood and all that comes on the television I just have to look away I can't watch it it's definitely as I've got older I've got a lot more squeamish but anyway that's probably the main thing that I'm scared of question number 27 what are your future goals I'd love to continue this YouTube and hope that it will be become a success and I hope that I will either help or inspire someone else to just start without thinking if, if it's something that you've always wanted to do like me um, I, it's been long enough, it's been six years that I've wanted to do it and I'm finally getting around to just doing it um, I always thought oh well it's too late, the big YouTubers have already built their success and there's no room for more but over the years I've, I've come to love new YouTubers, YouTubers like Chloe Boucher, I hope that's how you say her name, and the the likes of Imagine, Imagination and Sarah Ashcroft, Holly Boone, they're all fairly recent at the YouTubing world, like they didn't exist six years ago when I first started watching YouTube and if they've built um, a platform from it, I, I think anyone can if you're passionate about it and you put enough uh, hard work into it, I think it can pay off and that is my future goal is to to work within this industry more hands-on and more full-time um, even if I were to eventually not do YouTube I'd love to work in the industry and work for PR marketing advertising that kind of thing it's what I enjoy it's to be honest it's the only thing that I've ever been sure of that I want to do growing up through school even to the point of university where I just chose my my best A level I I never really knew what I wanted to do but I finally feel that YouTube is is that it is what I want to do and um, and yeah so that that is my future ambition and future goals is to focus on this for now and um, yeah see where it goes so thank you for watching this first video of mine I hope you enjoyed it do let me know any thoughts and um, ideas on videos you'd like to see me do I'll be looking to do a couple of haul videos a couple of beauty videos kind of a general mix of lifestyle. I'll also probably look to vlog whilst I'm abroad in Ibiza and Barbados this summer, which I can't wait for. Um, but yeah, if you've got any other suggestions, do let me know. Don't forget to subscribe. I love, 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 and um, I'd love your support. So thank you for watching and see you again soon.